close your eyes, try to stay anchored with the breath. There are sounds outside, there are things going on outside, and you know them, but you don't have to go after them. This is the big difference, is when the mind goes flowing out after things, that's when it loses its foundation. It loses its stance, it loses its poise. You've got to stay right here, right inside. And this doesn't mean that you're not sensitive to what's going on and you don't respond to what's going on. You have to respond. But you want to respond from a place of being grounded. So make the breath your anchor. The currents may move the ship around a little bit, but not too far. As long as your anchor is firmly in place, you don't get blown out into the ocean. You don't get blown up on shore. And this way you're safe. Things happen in the world, the world goes up, the world goes down, and the water goes up, the water goes down in the ocean, and the boat, of course, has to go up and down a little bit with it, but still the anchor has to stay in place so it doesn't go too far. This way you don't become a danger to yourself and you don't become a danger to other people either. If the boat goes off into the ocean and you run out of food, you run out of water, then you're in really bad shape. If it runs up on shore, you run into somebody's house, you run into somebody's property. Either way, you're creating danger. So stay right here. We've got a sense of really inhabiting the body fully right here, from the head all the way down to the feet, the feet all the way up to the head. This is your space. You try to inhabit it fully and stay here. Don't let anything push you out. Don't let anything push you away. This way you maintain your foundation. And as you open your eyes and open your ears, you see the world and you hear the world. And you have to act in the world. But the action should be coming from a place of solidity, not a place of floating around. So make the breath your anchor. Keep your mindfulness as the, the chain that stays, keeps the boat with the anchor. The mindfulness needs a little flexibility. In other words, you have a sense of what's the appropriate way of acting right now, whether you have to be proactive or you have to be still. Mindfulness can help you remember what has worked in the past. So you can adjust your response so it's just right. But otherwise, make sure the anchor is always right here. That's how your boat stays safe.